Did you, by any chance, go to community college? <laughs> yes, I did. You did? How about that? It's <laughs> a big night for community <laughs> college. Do you know Annette Benning and Warren Beatty? Are you, are they part of your community of friends? Well, yeah. Um, I, I know, I know Warren. I got to know Warren many years ago, about 20 years ago, when I was, um, going to do Boogie Nights. I sent him the script and asked him to be in it. Yeah. And what part for the Burt Reynolds part in the movie? Well, that's, well, that's what we talked about. We talked for a couple weeks and we were having conversations about him doing the film and I, I, I realized a couple weeks into it, there was a bit of confusion that he thought that I was asking him to play Dirk Diggler. <laughs> and I think, I started to realize, but you know you're, you're 60. And like, no, I know, I know, but I think I could do it. Well, <laughs> well that would, maybe, hey, maybe years down the road, a, a 60-year-old Dirk Diggler. Well, that's unbelievable. He wanted to play Dirk Diggler. That's crazy. Did he ever see the movie and talk to you about it afterwards? He did. He yeah. Really, yeah, he did. He really enjoyed it. He thought Mark did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, those two, they're so interchangeable. I mean, really, you don't even know. Did you start making movies when you were, like, a little boy uh, with yeah. the, running around with a camera? Yes. What that... kind of camera did you have? We had a few. I mean, you, we, when I started out, I started out before there was video cameras, so we had the Super 8 camera, and then, luckily, I was in the generation, the video cameras came out. We had a Betamax that was about this big, and yeah. you had a big pack that you that hung off your shoulder. Right, yeah, and there was a cable going to the bait. You had to have it trailing you at all times? Exactly right. What kind of movies would you make? Oh, you know, standard blood and gut stuff. Uh -huh. um, you know, generally war films, blood and guts. You know. <laughs> war films. Well, of course, that was like you know, you go into the, the 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 woods and make you know, um, shoot people. Who were the stars of your movies <laughs> when you were a kid? Um, my brother, uh -huh. my brother and I. Um, my younger sister, uh, you, you, as soon as you, you know, you tried to talk them into doing things and you realize that they'd kind of fall off. They didn't want to be cast anymore. So you just go to, to the younger and younger siblings and talk them into They them. really, yeah. So in sports, you could do that also. It's like, no, we don't want to play, but I need a whole team. And would right. you then show, have screenings for your family, for your parents or whatever? We, mostly, yeah. Uh -huh. I want to, uh, you know, one time we made a, my brother and I made a film, um, we, we were up late at night and we were watching something on, on, on television that we shouldn't have been watching. Um, and so we were filming away from the television while we were making this film. Um, and in the film, there's a Charlie McCarthy doll that comes to life and attacks my brother and kills him. Mm -hmm. And we actually, it was actually a really, really good film, honestly. <laughs> we really kind of got it together and made it, it look good. And we realized once we played it back that the sound that was coming from the television which was kind of X-rated, sort of made, made screening the film for our parents impossible. Ah, they, would, they would know what you were up to. Yeah. Boy, I tell you what, if you are passionate enough about film to pull yourselves away from, like, a Cinemax porno movie, <laughs> I think at that point you know your kid is really on to something, because <laughs> I don't think I would... Exactly. I would have been sitting in front of the TV. So your dad... And I love this so much was er, your dad, Ernie Anderson, yeah. was the voice of ABC, the television network, during the, the great days of television, the 70s, when, well, in fact, we have a clip because I think uh, people will enjoy seeing this. Saturday's a special night on the love boat when the captain's past catches up with him. Are you going to tell me about sex? And she wants her daddy. And will a beautiful heiress become a nightclub stripper on Fantasy Island? Oh, that's so good. I wish we still had that. Why don't we have beautiful heiresses becoming nightclub strippers? Did you think that was cool when you'd hear your dad's voice on television? Yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah. Because some kids don't think what they, their parents do is, is cool. No, I thought it was really cool. Um, I loved going to work with him at ABC, down at Prospect and Talmadge, and I'd get to watch him work, you know? That's entertainment, you know, you, those were, that's incredible. You, did you ever get to meet, like, Hervé Villachez or Ricardo no. Montalban or anything, or were you just in a recording studio the whole time? No, no, we were in a recording studio the whole time, and he would, he would read the copy that they gave him. And, and when he yelled at you, would he be like, Paul, get to your room right now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel and you'll finally be happy. 